Good morning. Thank God it's Tuesday. Why does it always have to be Friday? Thank God it's Tuesday. Hallelujah. Let each day count. Father, we thank you. We bless this Tuesday, August 6, 2024. This Tuesday will never come again. First and last, August 6, 2024, Tuesday. Thank God it's Tuesday, Lord. We dedicate this day unto you, that you will be glorified today through what we do. What we do today will matter for eternity. God, make it count. In Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 9 of chapter 31 of Psalm. This is King David crying out. Have pity on me, O Lord, because I am in distress. My eyes, my soul, and my body wasted away from grief. My life is exhausted from sorrow. My ears from groaning. My strength staggers under the weight of my guilt and my bones wasted away. I have been disgraced because of all my opponents. I have become someone dreaded by my friends, even by my neighbors. Those who see me on the street turn away from me. I have faded away in memory as if I were dead, and I have become like a piece of broken pottery. I have heard the whispering of my people, terror on every side. While they made plans together against me, they were plotting to take my life. I trust you, Lord. I said, you are my God. Woohoo! Awesome. First off, <laughs> you know, when I read this text, I'm honestly glad that I'm not David. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't, I don't know. I, I'm under this kind of stress. I, you know, yeah, I mean, I, come on, we go through some issues, but not like, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. He had to go through all that and he brings out his guilt. Why? Because he sinned against God, sinned against Raya by killing him and taking his wife, Bathsheba. Have pity on me, O oh Lord, because I'm in distress. My eyes, my soul, my body wasted away. The word wasted away meaning in Hebrew, nothing to give. There's nothing. It's just like it's, everything's consumed. There's no tear. There's a thing called dry eye syndrome. Then you're in trouble. You know, <laughs> you should, your eyes should get, you should get wet. But here he said, all my tears, wasted away. It's all consumed. He, what, he uses twice. Uh, verse 9 said, my body wasted away. He said, my bones are wasted away or consumed. My strength failed because of my iniquity. It causes his strength to fail utterly and let complete... Pro Prostration, both, both in mind and body. This pulpit commentary. I have become a disgrace, dreaded by my friends. Wow. In a contract-based society, oh, so what? what? I don't care what my friends think. I don't even know my neighbors, right? So like you live 20 years and you don't even you don't even get to see your neighbor. <laughs> you live I lived 24 years. Unfortunately, we had a relationship with this other guy, but then this couple start renting out house and <laughs> we, don't even, we don't even know who they are. So this kind of a contract-based society, it doesn't really hit you like, okay, so what? My dread by my my enemy doesn't know me. Who cares? I don't know them. No, but the relationship-based community, like Asian community, like Israel, neighbors did matter, right? And so guess what? And fear of mine, acquaintance, his acquaintance were afraid of being recognized as such, involved in his ill repute. This is pulpit commentary saying that. You know, even his neighbors, like, I don't want to identify. Say, oh, isn't King David your neighbor? Like, no, no, I don't know him. Right? Uh, don't even want to be recognized by his neighbor. Wow. So he's crushed. I am forgotten as a dead man. Out of my. Yeah, it's like, yeah, my friend died two and a half years ago and I have not thought about him ever since then. Why? Because he's dead. I am forgotten. I am like 
a broken vessel. It's actually saying the two same thing. Forgotten as a dead man versus I'm like a broken vessel. Why? What do you do when vessel breaks? You sweep away, wander away, take it away. You know, a, a pot that you like fell and broke. So you sweep it away. If you... If it stays away as a broken vessel in your presence, then you still know. And remember, no, but in Hebrew words, for broken vessel means to wander away or to disappear. I thought that was, wow. Genesis 40, 23, Chief Cobbearer, however, did not remember a broken vessel, Joseph. He forgot all about him. Once again, Joseph was a dead man to this cupbearer, right? Jeremiah says, is this man despised and shattered pot, a jar that no one wants? Why? He's a shattered pot, no one wants, swept away, put it aside, forgotten. The word forgotten and broken vessel in Hebrew culture, and, and it's a poetry, so it makes, wow, it makes beautiful. I am forgotten, like a broken vessel in pieces swept away and I'm emptied and hollow. No one remembers me like a dead man. What was his name again? Yeah, didn't he, didn't he do that? Didn't you know him before? Yeah, it was years ago, but I forgot even his face, how he looked like. Yeah, we did a lot of stuff together, but yeah, he's a broken vessel to me. Yeah, useless meaningless, broken and forgotten. Wow, sad. That's how King David is feeling right now. I have heard the whispering of my people. Like terror on every side. But I trust you, O Lord, because you are my God. God, you do not do that to me. You do not forget me. You do not treat me, sweep me away and forget about me. Because I'm broken. Lord, no. I trust your character. I trust your character. That's why he trusted in David's confidence is not in his own ability to evade danger, but in God's character, his strength, righteousness, and faithfulness. Right? Who God is, is he's betting on, not what God can do. He's not looking at the hands of God. They will give something to him. He's looking at him. Right? How important is that? I look at you and I know who you are, God. You are not going to forget me. So when facing with criticism and rejection, how can you find strength in your identity as God's child as reflected in David's assurance despite being slandered in Psalm 31, 13? Right? People slander you, speak against you, talk behind you. What are you going to do? This is the answer. Finding strength in our identity as God's child in the face of slander or rejection involves embracing the truth of what God says about us over the negative words of others. Trust in God's character. God, in practical terms, is might be involved affirming God's truth about us through scripture, engaging in communities that in reinforces truth and serving others, which shift focus away from self and unto loving service. Wow, the book that I published in Korea, The Practice of Love or Works of Love, talks about who you are is determined by what you know and what you do. It's like this, who you are and what you know should kind of work together. Who you, this is what you know, this is what you do, then it becomes a strength. Who you, what you know and what you do misses, doesn't, right, doesn't make you. I, I pray that you trust the Lord and tell you are my God. I don't care what people say because people would treat me like a broken vessel, crashed, swept away. By the way, yeah, there's an empty spot. I don't even know what stood there before in their memories, in there. So do not give yourself to the mess, just like Jesus did not give himself to the mess. Jesus loved them, 
But Jesus did not trust them. Jesus did not give himself to the mass. But they became object of love, not object of trust. So Holy Spirit, God, I pray that we too will trust you and you only because you are our God. You're not going to treat us like a broken vessel, God. But you're going to keep us, remember us, protect us, put us in the high cliff of the rock that no enemy can attack. Same protection over us today as we run into yoga. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord bless you. See you tomorrow. Mm.